What's the best video editing software on Windows right now? Well, this is our 2022 review of the leading video editors for PC. And as usual with these roundups, which are pretty much now an annual thing. So after a lot of research and a ton of testing in this video, I'm gonna share my top recommendations for all types of video creators from free and beginner friendly apps up to more advanced and professional editing alternatives. Then just like last time, I'm gonna break this down into three categories. We're gonna start off looking at free video editing software, then move into video editing software under $200, which will also include the free stuff as well. And then we're gonna open it up and include video editing software above $200, but also include the sub $200 and the free software in there as well, so that you know if you're prepared to spend more than $200 for your video editing software, how that stacks up and how it compares to video editing software under $200 and free stuff as well. Now, I would strongly recommend that you are sticking around to hear out all the options so that you know you're leaving here with the best option for you. And even if you decide early on what your editing software is, you'll see what you could be missing out on or what you could be unlocking if you do move up to another program or app. But I want you to remember that there really is no perfect video editing solution. They're all just tools to edit video. So your goal is to try and work out what the best video editing software is for you personally, for your skill set, and for the types of videos you're creating. So this is where I recommend once you've narrowed the list down to a couple of different options, go ahead and grab the trial versions and dive in and have a play around so that you can see which one is gonna be the best one for you moving forward. As an added bonus, I'm also gonna share with you at the end three video editing tips that are gonna help you edit faster no matter which video editing software or app you pick. All right, so kicking this off and diving into free video editing software, you got a lot of options in here, but this is where we haven't included anything that isn't actually free or is gonna require you to pay after a certain amount of time or is gonna add a watermark onto your video. I'm not classing any of those as free. So all of these options are things that you can use and get good results with. So in this category, you've got things like VSDC, HitFilm Express, Shotcut, Avid Media Composer First, DaVinci Resolve, Caden Live, OpenShot, and VideoPad. Now after trying and testing all of these top options, I've narrowed this down to my short list of three, which are OpenShot, Caden Live, and DaVinci Resolve. OpenShot is a really simple yet powerful video editing tool that works on PC, Mac, and Linux. The overall interface is really simple and really straightforward, and it's gonna be great for someone who is a beginner to jump in and get editing quick. I'm definitely impressed with the overall performance and not just rendering times and saving out your videos, but also the experience of scrubbing through and playing through footage while you're editing as well. Now, as this is a more basic and entry-level application, you're not gonna find any of the more advanced features that you will find in more professional tools that we're gonna to get to soon. But you do have enough control over things like adding titles and some simple effects and transitions. And there's even keyframe based control to help you really dial that in. So this is a great option for someone who is at that beginner to maybe intermediate level, someone who doesn't need all the bells and whistles and all the advanced features and controls, someone who just wants to jump in and edit their videos simply. Caden Live is really a next step up from that. It is a much more professional tool, much more feature packed, and it's got a lot more of those more professional features that you would expect to see in things like DaVinci Resolve and even Adobe Premiere. So it's so awesome that they've packed a lot of this into this open source software as well. Just like OpenShot, this one will also work on Windows, Mac, and Linux, but it does support a larger range of file types and codecs. And as I said, it's got a lot more pro tools and features in there. Things like more professional color grading tools and, and multi-camera editing functions but overall, the interface and the experience, while it's not as simple and as intuitive as OpenShot, it's definitely not overwhelming considering all the features and things that are in there. So I'd say this would be a good option for someone at that beginner level that is wanting to learn something that has more features and controls. It's not gonna be as intuitive as an open shot. So there is gonna be more of a learning curve right through to someone at kind of an intermediate borderline advanced level. Someone who does want more features, more controls and access to more of a professional video editing tool. And then DaVinci Resolve is pretty much hands down the most professional video editing program out there on Windows for free. It is ridiculous what they are giving you access to for nothing. This is literally professional grade video editing software, the stuff that they use to make Hollywood movies and stuff with. So in terms of features and controls and things you're getting in there, this is really pro grade stuff, which does mean that there's gonna be a lot more of a learning curve. It's not gonna be anywhere near as intuitive as the previous two options. So if you are an absolute beginner, this probably isn't going to be the best thing for you starting out, but it is something that you could invest some time and learn and definitely get up to speed with. And we've got links to editing tutorials for a lot of these programs, which I'll link down in the description box below. Now there is a paid version of DaVinci Resolve Studio available as well, but this isn't what we're talking about here. You get a lot of those features, really the core functionality you actually get access to for free 
in the free version. And for most people out there, unless you are an absolute professional, you're probably not going to need to upgrade to the studio version. But it really is important to know that if you have an older or a lower spec computer, this really isn't gonna run too well for you. It really does need a proper video card. It really does need a fairly recent, powerful computer to give you the best results with it. So overall, rounding out this category, if you're an absolute beginner, OpenShot is probably gonna be the best option for you. It's a great all-rounder. If you're looking for some more features on top of that, but still something that's fairly easy to use, then Caden Live could be the best option for you. Whereas if you're looking for really professional grade, industry standard video editing software, you can't go past DaVinci Resolve, but there definitely is more of a learning curve. So from this category, if I had to pick one overall winner, you really can't go past DaVinci Resolve, just the same as this video last year. It is ridiculous what they're giving you access to for free, literally professional grade tools. So moving on to the next category, all video editing software under $200. Now typically what you find when you're moving from free software up to the paid options is that you're generally unlocking more features, more power, more performance, and generally a more polished and fluid editing experience. Now I say typically, because I've already told you how amazing DaVinci Resolve is, and it's totally free. So in this category, you've got things like AVS Video Editor, VSDC Pro, Adobe Premiere Rush, Mov AVI, Filmora, We Video, Movie Studio, Movie Edit Pro, Magix Movie Edit Pro, Adobe Premiere Elements, Power Director, and Filmora Pro. Now again, from so much trying and testing, my short list for best video editing software under $200, including the free stuff as well, comes down to WeVideo, Filmora, and DaVinci Resolve. WeVideo is an amazing online cloud-based video editing solution where you don't need to download and install anything on your computer, it literally runs in your web browser, meaning that you can use it on low-powered computer or older computers as well. And because it's run in the cloud, it makes it a great tool for collaboration and working with team that are remote as well, or moving from different device to device. Now this is one where I was a little skeptical when I first tried it out a few years back, but it is insane how powerful and how fast this is to edit in, even if you're using things like 4K videos. Besides that, one of the standout things for me is that you actually don't need to wait for your video files to upload to the cloud for you to edit. You can start editing straight away and the upload's gonna happen in the background. So even if you're just trying to jump in and do a really quick edit, WeVideo is still a great tool for that too. Plus there's also a ton of built-in templates and effects and things that you can customize up as well. Now because it is primarily run in the cloud, it does mean that that upload is going to happen. So you will still need to have decent internet to upload your video files. But again, that's not gonna slow down your editing process at all. Now in terms of pricing, there's a few different options. I'd say that most people are gonna be looking at either the unlimited plan for $7.99 a month, which will let you edit in 1080p, or the professional plan for $19.99 a month, which will give you access to 4K video editing and more templates and more stock footage. But overall, I think it's a really solid option, whether you're an absolute beginner through to sort of an intermediate level, but also if you're someone who doesn't have a powerful computer. Filmora is another great option that works on Windows and Mac. It's one that not that long ago, I really didn't think I would ever be recommending. This is one that's grown a lot and it's now a really powerful, really awesome video editing application. In terms of usability and the overall interface, it is really easy to use. It's really intuitive, yet it's also got a lot of professional tools and features built into it. And this is one where I think they've really nailed the performance. It is a really fast program. It just feels snappy. Everything just feels fast and your export times and render times are ridiculously quick. And so how this stacks up to something like Caden Live, which in terms of feature set and everything would be very similar, Filmora would be my pick hands down in terms of overall performance and usability. Now in terms of pricing, there is a free version. It has a watermark on it. So I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the paid version, which you can currently grab on a subscription for around $62 per year, or you can actually buy lifetime access for around $90, which is awesome for anyone who's not a fan of the subscription model. But overall, Filmora is a great option for an absolute beginner right through to an intermediate level. It's awesome that it's got some more of the advanced features and things in there as well, but it really is for anyone who's looking for a fast, simple, easy to use, yet powerful video editing tool. And then again, for those people that are looking for a more powerful solution and more advanced features and controls, that's where you can't go past DaVinci Resolve. So rounding out this category, if you're at the beginner to intermediate level, either WeVideo or Filmora are gonna be great options for you. WeVideo, if you wanna be editing in the cloud and maybe you've got a lower spec computer, or Filmora if you do want more advanced tools and a more traditional editing approach as well. And for those of you that are looking for the professional stuff, more advanced features and controls, it's where you really can't go past DaVinci Resolve. So I've had to pick one winner in this under $200 video editing category. Again, it's gonna go to DaVinci Resolve. It's just crazy what you get, pro tools, pro features for free.
So then onto our third category, video editing software above $200, but also including the sub $200 and the free video editing software as well. So this really is best video editing software on Windows, no matter what your budget is. Now again, typically in this category where you are paying more for your software, this is where you're typically unlocking more advanced features, more advanced controls, really pro-grade tools and more robust solutions. So in this category, we've got things like HitFilm Pro, Camtasia, Adobe Premiere Pro, Avid Media Composer, DaVinci Resolve Studio, Magix Video Pro, Vegas Pro, and Lightworks Pro. And so shortlisting those down and including and stacking them up against the previous categories and software that we've mentioned, my shortlist for best video editing software comes down to WeVideo, Filmora, Adobe Premiere, and DaVinci Resolve. So Adobe Premiere is one we haven't spoken about yet. This is a really popular option when it comes to video editing. This is used by a lot of video production professionals, a lot of YouTubers, but also for the Hollywood movie stuff as well. The overall interface definitely isn't gonna be as intuitive or as easy to use and to jump into as something like Filmora, but really is in line with what you see in more professional programs. So the overall interface is very similar to say a DaVinci Resolve to a Final Cut and even Avid. There's a lot of similarities with all the pro software. Now this is another one that works on both Windows and Mac and it is really easy to transfer between the two and to work with different editors that are using different platforms. I also really like how easy it is and how powerful it is working with the rest of the Adobe suite as well. So if you're using things like Photoshop or After Effects, they all just integrate and talk to each other so well, making it a good experience all around. Now I have found from time to time it can be a little unstable or it can be buggy, which is never ideal, especially if you're doing corporate or client work as well, but you do get into the habit of learning to constantly save your work and make sure the backups are happening. So that is not a drama if it does happen. And really it's not happening for me anywhere near as much as it used to not that long ago. Now in terms of pricing, you can't buy Adobe Premiere outright. You do have to jump on one of their subscription plans. So you can grab it for either $20.99 per month just for Premiere, or if you wanna get it bundled in with the rest of the Adobe products in their master suite, then that's gonna cost you $52.99 per month. So Adobe Premiere is gonna be a great option for someone at that intermediate level right through to advanced or absolute professional given all the features and tools and everything that's in there. But it could also be a good option if you are a beginner, if you are someone who does want to invest the time and to go through the learning curve of learning something like this, knowing that it is a professional level tool. So to summarize my top options here and to say which one is going to be great for who, if you're an absolute beginner right through to an intermediate level, WeVideo is going to be a great, simple, fast option for you, especially if you like the idea of editing in the cloud or you're gonna be editing on a lower spec computer. Next to that, Filmora would be a great option again for a beginner through to an intermediate level. Someone looking for probably more features and more controls than you would get in Wii Video. And also having that great mix of simplicity with power and performance packed in as well. And then for those of you that are at the intermediate to advanced and professional level, this is when you really can't go past Adobe Premiere and DaVinci Resolve. These are my top two picks for pro grade software on Windows. Now both of these do have some standout features and some pros and cons, but as for which one is going to be the best one for you, this is where I would really recommend, if these are the ones you're looking at, that you're grabbing the trial versions or the free version in DaVinci Resolve's case and jumping in and having a play around and seeing which one resonates with you, seeing which one is the most intuitive for you and the fastest for you to edit and to create your videos. Now for me, my pick and really my overall winner when it comes to best video editing software right now in 2022 does go again to Adobe Premiere Pro. I really think it is the complete package for someone at that level. As I said, I love the way that you can work with teams. I like the workflow. I like how easily and how fast you can edit once you know how it all works together. And I like how well it works with the rest of the Adobe tools as well. Now obviously there's a big price difference between Adobe Premiere and DaVinci Resolve being free. But for me, this is something that Adobe being my top pick and the number one tool for me, it's a no brainer for me to pay that every month given what I'm getting access to. But again, grab the trial versions and try for yourself. It is ridiculous what they're giving you access to for free in DaVinci Resolve and maybe next year, who knows, maybe that takes out the top spot. Now, earlier in the video, I said I'd also share with you three video editing tips to edit faster in any video editing application. The first one is to focus on cutting your content down first. A lot of people just jump straight in and they start adding a ton of effects and color grades and stuff onto their footage to make it look pretty. But all they end up doing is slowing down their editing workflow because your computer or your device then has to process all of that for everything that you're doing. So focus on building out your story, cutting down your video first, and 
then make it look nicer afterwards. Tip number two is to use stock footage. You don't need to have to go and film everything and create everything yourself from scratch. There are amazing resources and libraries of stock video footage that you can easily download and add into your projects, making your videos more engaging, helping people watch them longer, but also saving your time from needing to go out and film everything yourself. Our top two recommendations for stock footage right now are Storyblocks and Artgrid, and I'll have those linked down below. And tip number three is to start to learn and to use the keyboard shortcuts for your program. This is probably one of the fastest ways that you can speed up your editing because you can just press one key on the keyboard and it's gonna save you moving the mouse around to click a tiny little icon on screen. Or in some cases, you can press one keyboard button and it's gonna save you three or four actions or three or four clicks that you would be doing with the mouse. A great place to start with this is looking at the playback controls, J, K, and L in most video editing software. But also if you head up to the help area in your editing software or do a quick Google search, then you can usually find a full list of all the editing shortcuts. Now those are just three tips from our Primal Video Editing Guide, which is a link to download your free copy on screen now, where we take you through the most efficient way to edit your videos down with minimal wasted time and rework. So don't forget to grab your copy, and I'll see you in the next video.